Hi and welcome to Real Food for Real People. I'm Jo Seeger and cooking and entertaining are my big passions. But boy, I lead a busy life. I've got two young children and really there's just too much happening to spend hours in the kitchen preparing for a dinner. So if that sounds familiar to you, then this is the show full of tips and hints that'll really help you get through. Right, the first thing we're going to do tonight is sushi, and I'm going to take all that Eastern magic and mystery out of it. First, for sushi, you need rice, and you've got to use short grain or Japanese rice. It doesn't work with the long grain rice. You need to get the sticky, sticky texture, and the short grain rice does it. Now, you can cook the rice in a saucepan. You need to rinse it first and you just run it under the cold water, rinse out that milky liquid, do that three or four times until the water clears, and then you use equal water for rice, two cups of rice, two cups of water. Bring it to the boil, turn off the heat, lid on, and all the water is evaporated. Or look, to make it an absolute breeze, get a rice cooker, they are wonderful. This does all the hard work. Here it is in here, when it beeps, it's done, and we've got the lovely sticky rice with all the water absorbed. Look at that, perfect sushi rice. Now, what you do then is mix in some rice vinegar, sushi su it's called, and it's a seasoned distilled vinegar. And it's available in all the supermarkets. In fact, look, to make it really easy, they now put out these wonderful sushi starter kits. Everything in there you need and off you go, great. So you get the sushi su, and I'm not going to be terribly accurate, but really it's about a quarter of a cup for two cups of rice. Just stir that through, and it's sort of slightly sweet. It um, is seasoned. It's got salt and um, rice wine and all sorts of things in there. Look, if you didn't have it, you could even use white wine vinegar. Make a vinaigrette. It works fine. We're not doing purest Japanese here. We're doing our own little loose interpretation. Now, just mix that through, and the next thing you're going to need is the seaweed. Right, now it's available in the supermarkets in packets like this and what you've got to watch is inside is a very cunning little sachet of those crystals to stop it, you know, getting all moist. Don't eat that, not a good look. Right, now I've got a sheet over here and the, bring my rice, actually I'll bring my rice over here. Now, the sheets have a shiny side and a a shiny smooth one really and then quite a rough one you put the shiny side down on your mat okay now when I first started doing this I had a Japanese boy staying and he said look you've got to get all the gear it takes you 20 years at the training school you've got to have the right knife hold your mouth the right way probably the kimono and the whole bit well, I love a challenge and I thought look I can do it and I didn't even have that mat I just used a rolled up tea towel it is possible, but the mat does make it easy. Now you put your rice, which has been seasoned with that vinegar, on here. And I'm going to make quite a big one. The bigger ones are sort of easier to do to start with somehow. Right, about five tablespoons goes on there. Now, wet hands, I found, is the easiest thing for this. Just press it on, leaving a nice three centimetre strip across the top there. Just press it all on. Don't worry too much about the edges because that, um, you know, you cut that one off. The first one's always the tester's one, the one for the cook to test, I think. Just push it to the edges like that. Nice and smooth. There we go. The wet hands really does make it easy. Okay, now we're not getting too technical. Now, wasabi. Now, uh, watch that you don't use and think that's avocado and use a whole mouthful. Just a little bit. It's very hot and we don't use the term lightly. Japanese horseradish. I just spread a little bit across the top like that and then you can just kind of smooth it in with a little spatula. Not a great, but you don't want a great big, whoo, surprise heat thing in the middle. Now, I'm doing smoked salmon. I don't think that's a very Japanese thing, but it's certainly Joe Seeger's favourite. Few little strips of the whoops a day smoked salmon there across there perhaps a little bit more it pays to have everything ready like this highly efficient when you're rolling this you don't want to stop and start and have to go and open packets of salmon now we're going to put a little bit of this lovely pink ginger wonderful ginger japanese ginger again quite readily available in supermarkets and at fish shops and all over the place. Put that on, and then I like to put a bit of green. You could use avocado or spring onion. I've just got a few wee chives here, and I think they look kind of stunning. A couple of chives on there. And now for the so-called tricky bit. Well, you get better at it, I tell you, once you do it a few times. Roll it all up to that 
three centimetre strip, just squeeze it like that. And then then you just lift that up. I have got a bit of water in a cup here and a paintbrush and just paint that there, little artistic business there. And then you just roll it right through. How easy is that? Now, truly the tea towel works just as well. Now, then you can just wrap that little roll like that up in a bit of cling film. And it's good because you can make them now for, you know, tonight or tomorrow. You can get them all done ahead of time. Now look at that, we have got a yummy little roll all ready to cut. Now I do have the very fancy Japanese knife, but um, it wouldn't matter, just a sharp knife. Now the trick here is cut it, and look, beautiful. And then you just need to wipe your knife between each cut. There we go. Just make them as thick as you want. Doesn't that look scrummy? Give it the little wipe. And on with the next one. Now here's another cunning thing. In the Japanese shops, you can get beautiful little bean curd pouches. And you can just fill that with sushi rice. They come in a wee can and they're fabulous. And then I've just filled that there. Hey, sushi, they'll think that you've done 20 years in the Orient at the special training school. Now, to serve that, a wee bit of soy, a bit of ginger, maybe a bit of wasabi. You can get these wee dishes and just pop that in the middle. Fabulous. Join me after the break. I'm going to be doing that good old lasagna, but a whole new wave approach. Grilled vegetable lasagna. See you soon.